guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting rain to episode 16 of Hirogato Sky Pretty Hair. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> And once again, I, I really don't think that she's gone. Well, you know, we're just waiting for your appearance to come in, babe. So at least next month, it's coming. Mm -hmm. Don't be all so clown. Not surprised about that. I'm just hoping we can at least find something soon. Oh, good. Oh. You know, kira 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 <laughs> Wait, hold on. The, yeah, this is the uh, the story time episode. Okay, I completely forgot. <laughs> so I like to say this is probably going to be very similar to like Tropical Rouge episode um thirty thirty one. It's either thirty one or thirty two. I mean, because from what I remember preview wise, like the art style is similar. But still different at the same time. And of course, it's just, you know, their version of the tale, which is going to be very interesting. Because, see, I was so cute from the previews that I, like, I, I remember how, like, the pre the pitches were and everything. Um, I did see something else, like, a, at least, like, what, a couple hours ago from the official Toei page, from what I remember. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Story time. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. Cinderella, a classic. Of course, Sora. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> we're, we're changing it. Just, just listen, listen. It's okay. <laughs> huh? Roll with it. Roll with it. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's you. Which one of y'all is the ogre? <laughs> yep, but just roll with it. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I think now officially this is the best episode for the series. <laughs> no, baby, don't be afraid. You got this. Oh, you guys. Exactly. You got this.
Sora. Your emotions are moving off on her, so of course she's going to cry. If you're sad, she's going to be sad. It's very contagious. Oh, it's okay. It was bound to happen. All I'm just hearing in my mind, like every single time I see <laughs> Toto, is, is Kaguya, <laughs> Mini Kaguya. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I don't want to talk, baby. She's so funny. Already? Hey, yo, there's a problem. They got there so quickly. <laughs>
also think that since they're back on Earth, Kabutan would at least show up because since we have the new guy, he is now like no longer existent. And no offense, it's a little messed up. And then they're going to do the same thing with this guy. And it's just like, mm. Nice. Ah. Huh. Oh, that's a dead lie. Different. Oh, okay.
Okay. Oh, because, yeah, the ki Kira Kira. Mm hmm. So you're taking that now from, of course, Tropical Rouge and so many others. That's a smart thing because, like, my biggest issue was we, we got to use the mirror pack kind of, but not in a way that I thought it would. But yes! Love it! Well, of course, that's a meme. <laughs> really? <laughs> Such a trip. Bye. That is so fucking cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's pretty much everything. <laughs> heart. Do you heart? Uh, no! Whoa. Excuse me. I was expecting Doki Doki because Doki Doki was the next one. So, um, we get that this weekend. Okay. I'm mad at it, but I, I think a lot of us were honestly really expecting that. But something also tells me, because we are almost done with the month of May going into June, once again, I feel like we're getting closer to Butterfly officially coming and such. This, I mean, this was a, to me, it gave me a filler slash non-filler-esque episode where it's like, oh, hey, here's a cute little story that is super important and such that deals with the main issue and stuff to, you know, really at the end of the day to cheer up L. And, and that's the cutest thing, but here's like cute little funny moments and stuff, which is just adorable as hell. So of course, yeah, I love the fact that it kind of gave feels towards the comedy episode of Tropical Rouge Pretty Cure, plus like any other se uh, Pretty Cure series that has done something very similar to it and such, with that, you know, art style and such, it was really just cute and very, um, life lesson and stuff. And so, I mean, it was just like adorable and I loved it so much. Like, oh, I love the fact that, you know, everyone got to interact with it and Elle using her imagination just <laughs> creating this cute little, like, world and upset when it didn't go a certain way. It was just too freaking cute. She punched baby girl and I love her so freaking much. Like, ah. Uh. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, no, baby, but you got it. Thank you. Oh my god. I've been, for the last couple of weeks, I've kind of been wanting a Mashiro Focus episode because when, okay, this is me. When we got back to Skyland, like, it was heavily Subasa, um, Sora, and L focused with a little bit of Mashiro, like, sprinkled here and there. And now coming back to Earth, like, we're getting an episode solemnly focused on her again and such, which is really sweet because she is precious favorite girl and also that's Rabadine. So, you know, any episode that has our baby Rabadine being the main focus, of course, I'm always going to be excited for because she's just adorable and I love her so much. But I think it's going to be interesting. And I love the fact in the preview where she's like, I, I don't run as fast as you, Sora. Well, it's at the end of the day, baby, you don't, no matter what you're in, and I will say this for like anything, never compare yourself to someone else. You always compare yourself to yourself. You, at, at the end of the day, we ourselves as people, we are our biggest critics. And so I understand why in that moment, my show is very much like, Oh, if I was like you, I could be, I could run a little more faster and stuff. I feel like we might lose because of me, especially if she is the, la the last runner. She's going to feel some type of way about herself. So I do hope that there is a moment, of course, where, you know, 
Sora and Masha will have like this cute heart to heart moment and it's like you know don't compare yourself to me you can do it and you can be just as good if not better just you go out and you try and it's gonna be so cute and wonderful because they're girlfriends they're married so of course any moment that they have with each other is a very much shippable moment and so I honestly cannot wait to see that one more thing I do I do want to talk about okay it was funny because I was on Twitter I think the day after this episode aired and a lot of people were like okay so what are your thoughts 16 episodes in my okay so if like if I had a problem with the show, I wouldn't say it's pacing. Um, and I wouldn't say the situation of, oh, we're waiting such a long time to see, like, um, you know, Last Cure and Final Final Cure. I don't think I really have a problem with the show right now. I, I think, you know, everything's going good. I, I love the pacing and how we're going. I love the fact that, you know, we're still giving everyone 100% individual focus with the sprinkles of someone else but then if someone does get a little too much focus whoever gets the least amount of focus they're still giving them screen time i love the fact that you know even though agatha is not officially a cure we're still building her up as a character essentially how they did with both subasa and mashido before they essentially became curious because when we're comparing it to all the other Pretty Cure series, it, it's very different because it's like, okay, episode one, you know, we get to know, insert character here. Like, okay, I, I'll, I'll use an example. Like, we get to learn about Flora. Well, nope, nope, nope. I got to take out Flora. Let, let's do, okay, let's do my favorite. Let's do Kitta Kitta. So we, episode one, we get Ichika. Episode, what, two, we had um, Himari. Our, um, and then episode three, we had Aoi, and then it kind of really focused on those three, and then eventually we got both, um, I'm about to say, not Akira was the last one, um, Yukari, and then Akira, and then eventually CL comes in, and she gets her instant focus, and then it really, as a lot of people say, and as I say too, once CL came in, it pretty much became the CL in Ichika show, with a little sprinkle, like, 5% sprinkle of everyone else getting focused. But then when any time when it was on, you know, Akira and Yukari, like they went in on that. And I think, you know, especially when I rewatch that, that's going to be something that I'm going to be talking about a lot. Because, you know, of course, I got to continue watching Maho. And um, <laughs> yes, five, we're pretty here, five, go, go, because it's been weeks since. And so the goal is to try to watch it this week. But I think the good things that I love, of course, you know, officially the confirmation of our first boy pretty here. Um, the, of course, the development of more episodes focusing on these characters. Because like I said, it's a little, when you look at the older series, it's like, okay, once again, here's new, here's a character. And they get that one episode to be focused on. And then let's say like overall, when you're getting to the end of the series, it feels like they insert character here, character there, character A, B, and C, they get the least amount of screen time out of the majority of girls in so, uh, inside of it too. Um, it does also make me excited to see how the movie is going to go and how these four, because we can't say five yet, um, are going to be portrayed and interact with all these other characters and stuff. Um, and I'm hoping it goes well. I really do because I'm so excited for it. And I know it's going to make me cry. And I kind of wait until it comes out. Um, and I'm just really excited to see how it's going. I think the idea of how we started with trying to get Elle to go back home. And now she's finally home. But then, you know, now her parents are asleep. And that's now the new mission. I really like the fact that we're getting another story within the current main story. It feels like a almost side quest-esque and I think when we get to the end of this, I think this is probably, I don't think it'll be number one for me because I have <laughs> so many as my number one. Or, of course, I'm not really going to say what my number one is. I, like, uh, of course, like the one that I reacted to first, that will be my number one on reaction series. And then the one that I hold close near and dear to my heart besides the one that I reacted to first I don't know if anything could still top that and such. And I think if you know me, you probably know what it is. No, once again, it is not the one that I reacted to first as a reaction series. So go back to 2016, Deja. So no, it's not Kitty Kitty Pretty Hero Mode. 
<laughs> it's a different one. No, it's not. Mahotka is a close second. I will say that, but there is one that really, to me, I, I could sit and rewatch and love it. I, honestly, I could sit and rewatch all of them, just so fall in love with them all again. But I really just hope that though what how we're going right now is how we continue and finish this show and such. But of course, we're not gonna know until we get to the end of the show, which is next year, which is still a while away. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to this episode 16 of Hidogato Sky Pretty Gear. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday for episode 17. Bye, guys!